now that I've shown you all the ways that you can use Google Forms, I'm going to kind of go ahead and go back and show you um, how to set it up on your own. So we start off at new. Uh, we go down to the more button and you'll see that Google Forms is right here on the side. As we wait to get it up, the first thing we're going to do is title the Google Form. And you'll notice that as I change this, I can come up here and I want to change untitled form. This is the actual name of the form. These don't need to be exactly the same, but they can be close. Um, and then one of the things that I do just for remembering is putting the year on there. Um, you can actually organize where it goes in there, and then you can also star it if you wanted to right here. You can make a long form description just here in this space. And then we get started on the different types of questions. The first one that comes up, it actually went to multiple choice, but say I wanted to change it to a short answer. And I just put name. And then I usually find that it's helpful to, instead of just saying name, to show off first name or second name. This can become very important for some of the advanced features. If you wanted a student to require to do this question and to complete it, turn on the required question and it will not allow them to submit with anything blank in this question. If you wanted to duplicate this question, you can go ahead and duplicate. Uh, this might be great if you wanted to just kind of switch something up just a little bit. And then once again, it's required. If I wanted to create a new title, I just come over here and I would put title two. Uh, and I could do a description as well. If I wanted to add an image down here, um, I just go ahead and click on this go over to my desktop, drag a picture in, and it will just take a little bit of time, and you'll see that the picture is here. And then you'd add in a title. So let's do cross crunches. If I wanted to then go and add a video in, you'll see that I have YouTube. So I'm just going to do cosmic yoga, and you'll see that cosmic yoga pops up. And I'll find the one that I really wanted to use, which was Spider-Man. And I'll hit the select button. I'll add in my title here. The last one is to add a section. This is where it gets a little more complicated, but it's actually pretty cool. So let's say that I wanted to do a section two, and then I added section three. This is how I set it up to do the branch logic. I'll show you this in a different video. But I want to create the sections, and in each section I can create questions or different ideas. And then let's say that I wanted to make a picture instead of just text. That's pretty easy. You'll just come over here and select, let it upload and then go down to option two and this little add image icon shows up. We'll do a different one here. This is really helpful if you want to make a visual for your students. You can also add in GIFs here instead of pictures and they work really well on mobile devices and desktops.